bitch and I'm sorry. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Dolby Sedalis Podcast. It's your girl P. And today I got Exotica Dream in a building. Hey you guys. Alright, so introduce yourself today. Tell us everybody who you are. Hey guys, I'm Exotica Dream. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, 216. Um, I'm a BB dub stripper or entertainer. Plus, I'm your favorite BBW. If not, I will be. Okay, okay. So mm-hmm. yeah, you have that in your in your bio. Your favorite sure BBW. Mm-hmm. Yo, Zaddy's favorite BBW. Because you know, <laughs> I'm your Zaddy's favorite BBW. So how'd you get into being a BBW entertainer? Um. Well, first of all, it started from when I was uh, just younger. Period. The way I like to dance all the time, from being a kid to now, you know. So. That was just, you know, of course, you know, we have uh, hood parties, you know, yeah. back in the day we used to go to and be twerking and shit. But of course, nobody does that anymore. You know, mm-hmm. everybody just dance with females or dance by So, um, I always wanted to be a dancer for real. And I always picture myself on somebody's pole getting somebody's money. So, <laughs> <laughs> once I, um, you know... Basically, I was always, you know, BBW, so I just was like, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to embrace it. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Hell yeah. So what's it like dancing with other BBWs? Um, It's cool dancing with other BBWs. I'm actually um, on a team called Detroit Plum Playmates. So it's other females on the team. They're BBWs as well. Okay. And yeah, we get along just fine. Um... Everything's fine. We all come get our money in. So tell us about the playmates. Who are they and like what do y'all do? Um, we're basically a BBW team from Detroit. Of course, I'm from Cleveland, but um, I got picked to be, mm-hmm. you know, a playmate. Um, so you know, yay, yay, you all that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we're a BBW team who travels. Um, who has parties, you know, you guys gotta come check it out, it's fun. Okay, um, y'all be turning up at them parties? Hell yeah, our, our manager Plump, she makes sure we all the way together, she makes sure we gotta keep our heels on, she don't play that shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, so. And them guys be coming out the one that bag. Oh hell yeah, they come out, they throw the bag. So tell everybody, cause the people think like, okay, do BBW strippers really just get tipped like that? So are the guys out there throwing the bag to the girls and oh yeah what would you tell um, these- before i even joined i was hearing the stories from girls uh actually one of them um that i really like uh amazon honey okay yeah shout out to her um uh, she was saying that she you know made good like you know real good money or whatever mm-hmm. i don't want to necessarily say how much but yeah. she uh she told me she gets to that bag. So okay. I trust you i believe it i and, see you know yeah and then you get to experience so, all that mm-hmm. Okay, so I see you be doing your little comedy thing too. Yes. <laughs> so how I'm a Gemini for one, so let's get that. <laughs> so I'm always talking shit, laughing, you know. Mm-hmm. So how's time. that? Cause you always talking about tricks and shit. Oh yeah, cause these tricks ain't shit. You know, <laughs> these tricks ain't shit. They be trying to play you, girl. They be <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> cheap asses, little dick ass motherfuckers. Not my nerves. So tell us about your worst experience with a trick. Um. First of all, me being a big, a big bitch, you can't be a, a big trick. You know what I'm saying? Big, big, <laughs> yes, big trick you just don't the, mix. You get what I'm saying? Post about that. Right. I made a post about that because first of all, we are gonna be bumping bellies. My belly big as fuck. His belly big as fuck. It's just not gonna. Yeah. It's just not gonna. Which, which we gonna be <laughs> like? You know what I'm saying? Like belly's gonna be kissing. First of all, his dick might not even be able to fit in my. Sh- you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, because so, what if it's small? And, then, and that's another thing. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, of course, it's all about the bread. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be thinking about that. But then again, it, it just don't work out. You, it just don't work out because it's like, you know, you know, and then they be thinking like, what you think? You want to get some money back? No, nah, nigga. Nah. Don't get mad at me because, you know, you know what you wanted. You signed up for this. You the one that called me. You hit me mm-hmm. up. Yeah, they be something else out here. They, they <laughs> From yeah. all the girls trapping to I can't say I'm a hair. So <laughs> So webcam is so cute, it just makes you wanna to, like touch it. Yeah. This so hair's feeling good. Thank you. <laughs> this is what I really wanna feel. Them okay. things. Okay. <laughs> Them little age cups. Okay, so let's give them a backstory. So we're just we're all friends with 
Mocha, um, BBW oh, Mocha, yeah. and Jayla Dixon. Yes. Which, Shout out to my homegirls. Shout out to them. Mocha, <laughs> Miss Mocha J, and Jayla Dixon. Both of those are my girls. Uh, Jayla Dixon and Mocha, you were already interviewed them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, and shout out. Um, we just reached 15,000 views on Jayla Dixon's interview, so. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Okay, Jay. <laughs> she going up. Yeah. That's good. That's they real doing, good. They be out there doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So, what's it like being friends with all our crazy asses? Because we got, you got a Mia Sag, oh. Jayla's a Libra, and then two. Okay, first of all, you, you know you get on my fucking nerves, but I love you. Oh, let's talk about <laughs> it. It's my birthday today. It is her. Oh, my God. That's the, see, when I was in the bathroom, that's the first thing I was supposed to see. First of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. But, yeah. Um, Sagittarius and Gemini's, first of all, we are like this. Mm -hmm. So, that's one thing I can't say that I love about you. You know, um, I do love that you are a great person. You're very inspirational. You be on my ass like you my sister, like you a mama. You know what I'm saying? You are a great friend and happy motherfucking 32nd birthday, bitch. We gonna turn up tonight at the Hell yeah. Shout out to Passions Cabaret. If y'all ever down in Houston, Texas, y'all gotta go check them out. They got the big... Booty <laughs> girls that's, in the building. That's what I came to see too. I want to see some real fat asses. Like, yeah. Some dumb asses. For sure. That's why I wish Mocha was down here because she could have danced tonight. Yeah, Mocha could have most definitely shipped that chocolate ass in my face. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. That would have been lit. We gotta get us all together. Yes. Oh my god, that's gonna be yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be a motherfucking ooh, epic moment. Let's say that. Epic. So how'd you meet the other girls? Um, dancing. Okay. For Cotton Candy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I've been seeing Cotton Candy. She does her events and stuff, and yeah, she she, I think she got a good following too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. She uh, most definitely was or is a porn star, and um, yeah, she been having parties, and I met them through one of her parties. Well, that's how I met. Um, Mocha. Okay. I met Mocha first and we were friends for like two years and then I met Jayla down the line. Okay. But both of them they came to Cleveland. They both then came to my house. They both did. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have fun. We did trap together, all types of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Okay, so let's <laughs> talk about that. Trap sisters. How is it trapping with another female? Um, it all depends. Ooh, it's different moves because y'all could be two bitches getting money together, or y'all could be two bitches being broke together, or it could be one up, one down. You know what I'm saying? It all. So, how does this work? Let me ask you. One's getting, you get a call and they only want you and not the other friend. So, how do y'all deal with that? Do they well, get nine jealous? times out of ten, she's working her site, I'm working my site. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, the niggas who want me, they call them my line. The niggas who want I heard they call her not. So it's not so I mean it could turn into a jealous thing, but for real for real, why? You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know what you gotta know to switch up from shit or it's something you're obviously doing wrong if niggas ain't calling. But niggas gonna call, they gonna offer you, you know, low prices or they gonna stick with what your price mm. is, you know what I'm saying? But it all it all depends. Bye bye bro boy. Right. Okay. I feel like okay, so it's a luxury service. Why are they trying to be cheap about it? Because they just niggas. They just nasty dogs. Well, and shit. they just want shit. They need to go low watch porn and jerk off and right. stay off our line. <laughs> Learn how to use this. Stay off our lines. <laughs> And y'all niggas need to stop trying to lowball BBWs, period. Don't think because we okay, big badass bitches. Do you, ass bitches do you that think guys try to lowball BBWs and why? Most definitely. But they be trying to lowball skinny females too. But when it comes to BBW, uh, of course, you know, you're held at a certain standard. They try to make you seem like you're here. But in, really, in reality, you're here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bitch? You know how to cook, clean, suck a dick, eat. <laughs> The fuck smell good? All that, you know? Oh, smelling good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into hygiene, because we talk about this all the time. Bitches do not know how to clean their pussy. 
Mm-hmm. Now, so give a little free game, little brief tutorial mm-hmm. on what they should do to clean themselves properly before going and busting a date. Oh, wait. First of all, before you bust a date, even after you bust a date, you should always want to freshen up because clean that just, cat. Yes, it's your, it's your pussy. Why would you want to, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of girls, they just don't care. They be like, ah, these niggas not on me or I never seen me yet. I done heard some stories. I didn't actually see some shit for myself. You know what I'm saying? To where me and bitches the shared the room, room and I like, see like, like old titties <laughs> and fish and Girl, bitches don't wear panties. Who wears panties? Anybody wears panties? No. no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who who, who wears panties? Nah, my shit don't stink either, but hey, all I can tell you so is do they care? keep okay, that. So what happens when a girl, because you know, BBW got a little extra. Yeah. So what happens? Do you keep baby wipes? Okay, or? so you want to, for one, I ain't going to lie, I keep Dove body spray. I spray that shit everywhere like no one knows this but let me give y'all a little secret okay, okay so <laughs> but okay so you know how you have deodorant it works for like your hair and your odors and shit like mm-hmm. that put some deodorant down there on your pussy now they say you're gonna get a yeast infection i never so did. what are you putting that at? for girls so they don't burn themselves so i feel like don't okay. take the deodorant and go like this but up around the on your hand no, rub some on your hand mm-hmm. and put it down there, or you can use the dust spray. Okay. The dust spray is for your underpits, but think about it. You know, it's to keep you from sweating, and it's where hair is. So, mm-hmm. sweating hair. Yeah. Spray down there. You, every time you go to the bathroom, you smell like flowers, bitch. <laughs> and what about the dancers that overdo it with the perfume? I really don't think you could never overdo it with perfume when it comes to dancing. Just because you're moving and throwing ass so much, especially if you're a BBW, you just want to always make sure you smell good. Because the first thing a motherfucker is looking for is for you to, of course, you know, dress nice, be presentable. But Mm -hmm. you go up on a nigga, you smelling like booty and fish and, you know what I'm saying, all types of shit. Like, no, they ain't going to be on that shit. Okay. Alright, so what do you have working on now? <sighs> I need to get back to working on my boutique. I was making real good money. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, I got scammed. It's one reason why I quit. Well, not even saying quit, but took it's a break. A pause. Took a break because mm-hmm. I was a little like, you know, like, oh, I can't trust nobody. Fuck everybody. But I'm going to get back to it. Okay. It was your manufacturer that um, it up? Yeah, she just, I ain't going to say her name even though I should, but she, she fucked it all up for me. And But I should have never let her do that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I should have just kept going and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, shoot, it's supposed to be a new year. You get back mm-hmm. on track with that. It's just hard with to the few little outfits I got. I can't wait to model my bathing suit <laughs> my outfit. Yeah. Take some pictures. Take some pictures, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we're going to get it cracking. Like, thank you for all my birthday gifts. Oh, you're welcome, girl. You know I got <laughs> you. You know. You know I got you, so. <laughs> so what else do you want Doobie Sir Dollars to know? What else I want Doobie Sir Dollars to know? Um, I want Doobie Sir Dollars to know that Doobie Sir Dollars is a great podcast. And I just want y'all to know that this girl no, we're gonna was, this girl was talking <laughs> This girl has been talking to me about starting a podcast for a long time until I finally kept telling her to go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. But I guess we're about to fight. So what are we about to fight about? Because you don't watch my fucking podcast. Okay. I don't watch her podcast because I just be too busy doing my own thing, playing with my pussy and shit. I was playing like, nah. she I will start, pussy I told her that I will start watching her podcast because I have been. Horrible. You know what I feel about my friends and family because some people I get you, it's like you talk to me all the time. Why you want to watch me on the screen? Just go give me a little like, okay, a little thumbs up. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, 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 I'm I'm going to watch though because okay. So let's talk about last night. We was at mm-hmm. an artist showcase with all the artists performing and everything. We had a hot ass Cleveland artist out here. Hell yeah. <laughs> Old dog got a savage. Shout out to her. Mm-hmm. That was a good performance last night. Yeah, he did a, good, a great job, actually. That was my first time seeing him perform. So he did a great job. Yeah, for sure, for mm-hmm. sure. Okay. 
Well, I can't wait for y'all to come back to Houston. Yeah, we're well, we're most definitely gonna come back. I don't know when. I don't know six months, three months. They'll but me and you gonna talk about that because I gotta go to Cleveland stuff. though. I gotta go visit out there. Um, I was like, I'd like for you guys to come, world, but I gotta right. go y'all's world. Well, like I said before, I would love for y'all to come out in the summertime. We could go to Cedar Point, um, ride some rides, have a good time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so what's the food like? So I gave you some of my little favorite places mm -hmm. to eat. So what's the difference on food? Well, I was trying to tell her the other day about Polish Boys. I don't know if y'all have Polish Boys, but Jayla Dixon, you know. You okay, have tell everybody on Drupal South what is a Polish Boy. <laughs> okay, okay so y'all, it's a bun. <laughs> a Polish Boy is you have, a, you know, of course, a hot dog bun. You put a Polish sausage mm. in the hot dog bun. Love a oh, dog sausage. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and um, you put fries on top. Okay. And then barbecue sauce and, and coleslaw. coleslaw and that shit is just so fucking good okay. y'all gotta try it one day like, I'm gonna try it when I try, try that it. shit yes once mm -hmm. you come out I'll buy it for you personally okay. buy you one. No that's way. what I did with Jayla that's what I did with Mocha they both know like and when they come I, I'm telling you every time they come to Cleveland they're like can we go get a Polish boy well Jayla was calling it a po' boy I'm like a what <laughs> a po' boy but I'm like a Polish boy <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I'm gonna fuck one up when I come down there. You are, you are. I'm you excited to mm -hmm. try. Yes, seriously, it's, it's good as fuck. Well, shit, thank you for coming on Do It All This. Finally, I know it's gonna be another interview. Next time y'all see me, um, yeah, I'm gonna have it together all the way. But, okay. uh, <laughs> It's cool. Uh, I'm glad to be out here with you, especially for your birthday. Yeah, thank you. Um, that was the main reason why I flew out here. Real friends do real things. So, <laughs> learn something. I'm saying all. But, um, yeah, it's glad. I'm glad to be yeah. here with you. I'm glad I'm um, to get you. I love the fuck out of you. Uh, and you my bitch. Doobie Sedalis, what's good? It's going <laughs> to take off for sure. For sure. This shit, this shit rocking. This shit rock. Facts, facts. All right, guys. Well, make sure I'm putting where you can find her all down below. Exotica Dream Reloaded on Instagram, but all mm -hmm. the links will be down below. And of course, all my links as well. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and we out. <laughs> <laughs>